hey what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel once again uh, so the channel name is the creative tv if you're new to the channel please please make sure you subscribe to the channel with a notification so that you don't mix up all this great information for you all right so before i dive into today's video as i said you have to share these videos to your friends and family so that they will also enjoy this educational video okay so what i'm going to show you today is very simple we've been doing it uh over the past uh, so i think we have to go over once again so the, what i'm going to show you today is very simple and easy how to uh, make money from selling what ads okay so you can sell all this on any other platform like etsy or uh, uh, red bubbles or even uh uh, aliexpress okay so we just have to follow what i'm about to show you how to divide this inside photoshop it's very simple and easy i've seen lots of people struggling doing manual cutouts which i don't fit the project but this time you are going to learn what you want so what i'm going to show you today is very simple and easy okay so before then as i said uh if you need to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the creation icon so i have all these beautiful pictures uh, from games and movies okay so i'm just going to use this as uh as for our canvas project today okay so we don't have to be worried about anything so what i'm going to do i've already opened up photoshop so what we're going to do make a new document first so new document probably uh as you can see i have my document i'm just gonna rename it five in one or five in one panels or arts panels okay so as I said, as I showed you in the previous video, I normally made my 10 inch different. So 10 will be 10 times 5 because we have 5 different uh, panels. Okay, so it will be 10 times 5 will be 50. Okay, so I'm just going to hit OK. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring in the guide real quick. So I'm just going to guide here. Guide here. And another one to here. And let's cut this one from here too so the next thing i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to divide this using simple calculation okay so the calculation i'm going to show you is there it's very simple and easy okay just don't freak out i don't want you to sit down uh, okay and follow what i'm going to show you so as i say you have to make a new document okay so new document we're going to use as mask layer okay so to do that you're just going to make here 10. you hit enter you're filling with it uh any color solid i'm gonna i'm going to use red because i like using red i'm just make, gonna make sure that it fills the frame okay so that we are going to use this one as our mask because if you don't use this one as a mask you end up with a wrong calculation i'm just gonna unlock the background so i'm just gonna select the background and move a guy to a middle so this is the middle class you can see is 25 by 25 that will be 50 so i'm just going to select here and position that good so now i have the middle one so this is what i'm going to do to the next side so probably this is the middle so the middle is 10 by 30 inches long okay so i'm just going to make new documents once again so here probably you're not going to change the height uh, width we are, we are going to change the height so i'm going to make the height let's say 20 let's say 24 okay so 24 is not bad i'm just going to fill that one with another color so this time i'm going to change the color so it's automatically it's on red i'm just going to change it to something like blue or yellow or green so let's choose green let's choose deep green let me hit okay so i'm just going to use this as another guide so I'm just gonna select the background once again to go because this is the middle of our project. Okay. So this is what we have to we have to bring another guy to match the upside down. And you see that one is total of 15 because that one is 30 inches. So 30 divided by 2 will be uh 2 divided by 30. I don't know, it's it will be 15. Okay. So I'm just gonna position this one at the proper place. Good. So this one I'm going to do so i'm going to duplicate this one edit duplicate or control g i'm just going to hit control g on the keyboard so i have another copy so i'm just going to use that one here so now we have the side and side so let's go to the last one so instead of you to make a new document i'm just going to change this one okay or you let's make a new document so that you don't get confused so here i'm just going to make it 18 or let's say you like me 18 
gonna hit OK. I'm gonna fill in with the same like what we do. Uh, right with the first one, so I'm just gonna click on here. I'm gonna change the color to maybe yellow or orange color. Orange color is not bad. I'm going to import that one. So this is it. So I'm just gonna so this is the middle. So I'm just gonna move the middle. So it's the middle. So I'm gonna uh, control J or right click, duplicate. I'm just gonna go or alt and drag. I fold down hot and I've drag. Boom, boom, as you can see. So our project is now ready to be divided. So if this is very simple. This is not difficult. So you can just guide them throughout. Okay, so let's put a guide in here. Let's put another one here. And let's put another one here. Another one here too. this side too boom so as you can see I've guided all oh, so you have to make sure you save your project okay so five from one more art hit save save so you can use that a template okay so all this you can make a lot of money selling all this okay online all right so let's import our picture real quick let's go to our picture so this is our picture just going to import the picture good so now we can fill the picture to fill the come to fill the frame because as you can see if we turn down the opacity so let's put this one beneath uh, under the uh, background so let's hold on shift select the entire and lower the opacity up to let's say let's say 40 so now you can see through where our project will be okay so this is what we have to do so to do the final one for print out or maybe you want to put it online so that you can sell it so that someone can buy from you this is what you have to you have to make sure you have it match because the person going to print you don't know the material the type of material the patient is going to print maybe the pe person is going to print on sticker or paper or uh, a flazy okay so you might not know the the person buying this so this one i'm going to i'm going to uh control and hit control and new document so here we have one two three four five which is 50 so i'm just going to make it because i need to add some uh, maybe three 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 inches different or maybe two two inches so if i add two 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 four six eight ten twelve so it will be 62 right okay so 62 by 30 let's say 35 let's hit ok so now um, this is what we are going to do we are going to uh, so this is our final this is the project that we are going to be selling to our customers so this is what I will do I will just grab the marquee to right, my, uh, marquee rectangle to make sure the uh, feather is zero ok so I am just going to grab the first one so see where the magic happened so now you can see the calculation that we did it is 10 by 18 inches right there okay we didn't make any mistake i'm just gonna click via copy so this is it i've copied it i'm gonna with the background selected once again our picture selected i'm going to click and drag on the second side so you see 10 by 24 good i'm just going to right click layer via copy select the assertion uh background once again the picture the main picture 10 by 30 that's it right there 10 by 30 so 10 by 30 uh, okay so let's go to the other one i think we have to do the same for all of so you see 10 by 24 so this and this one should be the same and this and this one should be should be the same so i'm just gonna click on this one too you see 10 by 18 via copy so i'm just gonna select all and copy so our project is now ready to be printed okay so this is very simple and easy it's not that difficult okay I just don't have to um, just don't have to find this difficult in doing it in Photoshop 
it will make your uh, work exceptional okay so um this is it okay it's very simple and easy so let's go and search for this thing on your internet okay let's type in five in one canvas so let's say we want to buy this one okay this one online Ghana so I just want to buy from I'm looking for off from one from Aliexpress and show you the price of this beautiful uh, what art so let's go to this website real quick and see if you can just see so as you can see your work is ready to be printed you can just go ahead and print it and start framing it okay so you can just change the color out to what you want sometimes people make it gray let me get that gray okay but I'm just going to uh, leave it on this so I just want to show you so as you can see it said five one red three canvas for art okay e kits modern frameless land so it's frameless okay it's not framed okay artwork printed for war art black and white with red picture prints okay so this one is already printed and it's still sell for ten dollars okay good so if you have uh, let's say around 10 people's uh, around 10 purchases a day uh, probably gonna make hundred dollars right good so you can make a lot of money doing this yourself okay so uh, uh, without wasting your time this uh, what I'm just going to show you okay it's very simple and easy if you're new to the channel the channel name is creative TV please make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification icon so that you don't miss out any great information we commit coming out with all right so I will see you in the next video thank you